how to sign up for your Shopify store. Maybe a better name for this would be how should you approach signing up for your Shopify store. I'm Zach Hall guys, welcome back to another video. So this is going to be my recommendation first before you sign up for your Shopify store. I'm not sure if you've seen the last video in the series here, but if you haven't, make sure you go and check that thing out because the first thing you need to do before you sign up for your Shopify store is you need to figure out your domain name. And I have a video over there, link down in the description below, that's going to tell you exactly how you need to pick out your name for your website, whether you're doing a general store or a niche-based store. After you've gone through that step, the next thing you need to do is you need to get your emails. Now your emails don't have to be super fancy with the name and everything, you know, keep it relative to what your store's name is, but they're just going to be forwarding emails. So this is where your emails for your actual store are going to come to, and you're going to need two of them. You're going to need your main email of your store that you're going to sign up for things with, right? And then you're going to need your support email. Support email is where your customer service is going to take place. So people message you having questions, you answer their questions there. Now it's important to make sure that you have those in completely different emails rather than having it in one because once you start to get to a large scale in your store if you don't have a separate email for your customer service it's a disaster trust me on that so you gotta have two and I have a video a little bit later on here that's gonna teach you guys how to set up these forwarding emails so just for now go in create the two emails and let's go on to the next step now for your email just for example here if you're selling footballs on your store right and your store is just based around football or a football specifically, right? You would want to name your store footballstore1 and gmail.com or Yahoo or whatever uh, provider you're using there for your email, right? You get the point. So you have the two emails. You're going to have your support email and your main email. Main email comes first on support. So on your main email, it's going to be named footballstore1. Your support email is going to be called footballstore2. It doesn't necessarily have to be like that, guys. You just want to make sure you can differentiate between the two. I have another link in the description down below there that's going to give you guys a free 14-day trial through Shopify, so make sure you check that out. Make sure you click that. And the other videos we're going to be going over further on in the series are going to go way more in-depth on the whole setup of Shopify and really actually getting your first sale, scaling to a massive um, level with your store, how to do all the marketing, all the questions you can imagine I'm going to be answering in the future videos, so make sure you guys stick around to see those. But let me walk you guys through this process here. Let's jump into my computer and I'll show you how you can sign up for Shopify and set everything up the easy way. All right, our first step here is going over to Gmail um, or your email provider, whatever you use. Most people, most people are going to use Gmail. That's what I use, so we're going to just use this for the example. Um, so you would click on your name icon up here in the top right, little bubble, drops down, there's going to be an add account button. You're going to click on that and you're going to get brought to a screen that looks like this. I know you can't see this because it's blurred out, but it'll have your current existing emails there that are attached on your computer. What you're going to want to do, go down to the bottom, you're going to click use another account. Rather than sign in, click create account. And uh, rather than for myself, you can say to manage my business. That way it sets up the preferences in the back end to be a business account rather than a personal account. Um, then, yeah, first name, last name. Uh, then this is where you would put, uh, you know, like the football store one, like we were saying before. And then you would create this account, and then you would just repeat the process to create the second Gmail account. Then after we're done with this, you head on over to Shopify. Uh, right up here is the start free trial button. You're going to click on that. Um, in order to get to this screen here, again, in the description of this video here, guys, you can just click on the link for the Shopify 14-day trial. It's going to bring you right over to Shopify's website. You'll get to the same screen there. Click the free trial button. brings you into this page uh, where you can actually create your Shopify account, right? And then it's just a similar process to what we were doing before. You put in your email. You put in your password. Uh, you you want to have for your store name. Um, but the actual putting your information, it's straightforward. I mean, it's going to ask you a couple more questions after this screen here. Um, but then you just be honest with it. It's going to ask you how much revenue you're currently generating. You don't have to say you're generating a million dollars a year yet. Just say you're doing zero. Uh, just fill out the information. Then it's going to bring you into the Shopify admin screen. So, yeah, now we're going to dig a little bit deeper into actually setting up the back end of the Shopify store, going through and making sure everything is set up right so that it's like headache free when you actually start generating income and generating sales on your store. We want to make it as headache free as possible. 